What's up everybody, it's Beat and Go here, and welcome back to Philosophical Journey. And keeping with kind of the uh, Thanksgiving theme here, uh, I just thought of another thing because I saw this crazy video, which I watch it every year. I, I don't know why I'm still shocked anymore. But the topic for today is Black Friday. So I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, if you are familiar with this, uh, I'm not even going to call it a holiday. I'm going to call it a fiasco. If you're familiar with Black Friday, then you know already what the question is probably going to be. But the question is, what are your thoughts on Black Friday? Uh, this question is just coming from myself because of the stupid videos that I watch. And I saw this video, and I'm sure it's probably gone viral. It's all over uh, Facebook. That, that's pretty much where I saw it. And this guy ended up getting injured, you know, as, as someone does every year during Black Friday. Oh, nice, another imp. And the uh the police officers that were working in the store i think it was walmart i'm not entirely sure but they were trying to get to him and people were not moving so they had to start pushing people out the way which they should not have to in my opinion and some lady uh ended up yelling at him for pushing her saying something about she's going to sue because, you know, she has a heart condition or something like that. And to me, I couldn't help but laugh at her. Now, she may actually have a heart condition, and if she does, then I, you know, that that's that's awful. I hope she, you know, gets better or I hope she at least has the medication for it. But she doesn't need to be out on Black Friday if she has a heart condition. You don't need to be out on Black Friday if you have any sort of condition you I mean if you all right we'll, we'll just say this if you're alive you don't need to be out on Black Friday plain and simple because it's just a silly day it's a silly concept to me because you're not really getting discounts you really aren't um, there have been reports put out there have been studies and also you can just tell if you kinda pay attention yourself that the quote-unquote discounted prices that you're getting are actually regular prices. Um, if you notice about uh, October, middle of October, uh, maybe beginning of November, you'll notice that prices on some items actually start to go up and they'll start marking up prices. Now they won't do it all at once, they'll do it you know, gradually over the month until the price is up by about you know fifty to a hundred dollars and then all of a sudden they'll slash that back down to the normal price on black friday saying oh look at this amazing sale we have you know buy it so that's the first thing and um my girlfriend actually pointed that one out to me so thank you for pointing that out to me thank you but the other thing uh the other what am I trying to think of? Well, the other thing that I found uh, was basically that all of the uh, item, not all, I'm not going to say all because that would be, you know, that'd be wrong to say, uh, that, that'd be slander, and I'm not going to do that. But the majority of items that are put out for sale on Black Friday are not you know they're not brand new they're not they uh, a lot of the times they are refurbished and that's another thing that people don't realize is that the items that are bought on black friday have actually been found to be more susceptible to breaking malfunctioning uh callbacks you know all this and that than if you were to buy the items on a regular day so my uh my you know quote unquote plan for shopping uh, if I have money is wait until January or February Fe February uh, I hate saying that word and that's whenever you actually see the discounts the because because then the prices actually do drop because you know all of the holiday shopping is over now that being said a great way to do Christmas shopping if you celebrate Christmas is how my awesome mom does it 
she will uh, basically shop all year. Um, and it's a great way to do it because you don't you, you still take the financial hit, of course, but it's not as much of a burden. And the what I mean by that is let's take RuneScape for example. If you pay monthly, it's uh, what is it, seven or eight dollars a month? I don't even pay attention to it anymore because it's an expense I just write off because I'm gonna have it. You know, it, it's part of my budget. But oh, hello. Uh, I'll do that later. <laughs> um, but if you uh, buy one of those cards, you can pay what was sixty bucks or like seventy bucks for the year, something like that. It saves a lot of money, but it's a lot easier to pay eight dollars a month than sixty or seventy dollars all in one go. You know, if that makes sense to you, it, it makes perfect sense to me because you know I have eight dollars a lot more than I have seventy dollars. If <laughs> so, you kind of see where I'm going with that one. But Black Friday to me is a complete waste of resources. Um, there were reports that uh, Walmart, not a Walmart, uh, sorry, I, I'm just kind of stuttering all morning, but Walmart had employed police officers to actually go to their stores in order to help with the masses. Now, that's great, and I applaud them for having the extra security and spending the money on that. However, they are using police officers to watch crazy people shopping who are going to get in fights, who are going to, you know, kick, bite, stab, yell, do whatever they need to in order to get an item that they don't necessarily need. I mean, yes, it's nice to get the item that you want. That just, I'm not going to lie about that. But they're sending these cops to these stores simply because, you know, hey, we're doing crazy deals that are enticing people, ooh, ice beans, uh, that are enticing people to act crazy and stupid. So, you know, this is more important than you staying out on the streets and looking for people who are committing robberies or, you know, murders, uh, stuff like that. So I think that part is silly. And also just, it's people. And I, I don't like saying that because, you know, they, they just kind of, it, it's what the stores and what the past years have done. And they've trained people's brains to think that, oh, it's Black Friday. These deals aren't going to last. I need this deal. So to me, it's not all the people but there are definitely those that are just crazy about this. Uh, I'll give you <laughs> something funny. I saw um, Black Friday at lunchtime. Uh, it was before I came back home. I was still with family, having an awesome lunch. I was with my girlfriend. And these people sat at a table behind us. And they had t-shirts made for Black Friday. And on the back it said, shop till you drop. And on the front it said, it's Black Friday. Now, looking at these uh, these women's eyes, you could easily tell that they had been up for, at the very minimum, about six, seven hours. Bare minimum. And I had an early lunch. You know, it wasn't necessarily noon by that point. So it wouldn't have surprised me if those... If those women were the ones that started at 8 p.m. And that's another thing. Why is Black Friday starting on Thursday? Yes, I know, you know, a lot of stores do it to get more sales and to do this and that. And honestly, they're probably doing it because they think it'll kind of quell the uh, the attacks, I guess you could say, in the hopes that, you know, hey, if we spread it out longer, more people will shop slowly, but, you know, that was proven not to be the case, and people basically panicked. 
and they thought, oh, well, great, now we've got to go shopping earlier, and they left their families in order to go shopping. That is something I just don't understand, but, you know, maybe it's just because I'm a family man. Um, leaving family to go shopping is just, it's just weird to me. I, I don't get it, but, you know, to each their own. And if you want those discounts, get them. But just remember what I said, that those discounts aren't really discounts. So just keep an eye out for that. So what are your thoughts on Black Friday? Do you go shopping? Do you stay uh, Do you stay inside and stay safe all day? Or do you try and uh, do all of your shopping online? You know, so let me know. Let me know what Black Friday means to you. Let me know your thoughts on it. And also leave a question for me so that way we can keep this series alive keep it going keep it strong and you know like the video subscribe if you liked it and keep an eye out for more and i will talk to you on the flip side